Hello my friends and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can leverage auto completion when writing your static configuration file for Komorebi, the tiling window manager for Windows. On the left hand side, I have a brand new installation of Visual Studio Code. We're going to go down to Preferences in the File tab and then on to Settings. In Settings, search for Schema and this page will come up. We want to click here, Edit in Settings.json. Now this will bring up a auto-completion prompt. And when you click it, you'll get something like this. So the file that we want to match is komorebi.json or really whatever you choose to call your configuration file. And the URL, this is what is going to provide the auto completion for us. So you come to the, uh, the main page of the repository and you click on the schema.json file. Once you're here, look for this button raw and click on that. This is the URL that we're going to paste in here and then control and S to save. Let me just make this a little bit bigger on the left so you can see. We have json.schemas, file match, URL, and it's added window zoom level for us very helpfully. Uh, okay, so next we can go ahead and open up our komorebi.json file. And now if you hover over any one of these configuration options, you'll see that you're getting some documentation. This is powered by the auto completion schema. If you want to try and add a new configuration option, just open up your double quotes and a list of all the valid options available to you will pop up. Uh, we have configurations at the very top level, and we also have configuration options at the monitors level and at the workspaces level. You can see them popping up here. One of the nice things about completion is that when you are trying to set a value for an option that only takes a limited set of values, you can hit auto completion and those values which are valid will pop up as suggested completions. And that is pretty much it. That is how you set up auto completions in Visual Studio Code for the Komorebi static configuration file. Before I leave you, I would, as always, like to draw your attention to the sponsor page for this project. If you are able, it would be very meaningful to me if you would become a subscriber. Even a dollar a month makes a huge difference to me. And of course, I always like to give a shout out to the current sponsors. So thank you very much to Dylan, Tobias, Alex, Julian, and Hisayuki. Thank you very much for your support. If you are not in a position to sponsor this project, the next best thing that you can do is subscribe to the channel on YouTube. You're probably already watching it there right now, so go ahead and click subscribe. But also, if you happen to be on the repository or on the user page, you can click one of these YouTube links. They will take you here and give you an invitation to subscribe. That is it for this video. I hope that this helps you getting the configuration of your dreams. I hope that you all have a great day and I hope to see you back here next time. Goodbye.